Take yourself now. Yeah. Take yourself when you were five years old. Do you think you are, as your consciousness, closer to who you were when you were five, or to whom I might be, or one of your friends might be? What do you think? Am I closer to who I was at five yes. than, than you are? No. Than yes. I am to you? Yes. yes. Than I am to you? Yes. Uh, no, well, I think I'm closer to who I was at five. Well, I am not so sure about myself, you see. It's sometimes very alien. What I don't know what about what it was you, but when I was five, I don't feel like. But exactly I hardly the same know person. you. Why would I be closer to you? <laughs> how how much did you know about wine then? How much did I know about wine then? Yes. Uh, I knew a lot about beer. I drank beer since I was three. Okay, okay fine. <laughs> so that we have to go before three. Yeah. But you know, think of all the things we share without knowing each other. That's why I'm yeah. pointing uh, out. I see. I okay? see. Yes. There's yes. much of what it is like to be me which I think is not going to be that different from what it is like to view about science, about art, about life, Well, there's life no and question. So I, I see myself becoming a different person every, every once in a while. And certainly, you know, when I look back on who I was in my 20s, I, see, I think of it being a different person. Okay, so let me ask you this, and actually I, I want to ask you, because it's closer to what happens in, when you wake up. Has it ever happened to you in the morning, you wake up, especially in an unfamiliar place, and for a few moments, at least it happens to me, you don't know exactly who you are, mm -hmm. you don't know where you are, you don't know any of that. For a few moments, then it comes back. I'm st okay. I often I'm still trying to okay. figure out the problem of the dream. And every once in a while I think, you don't have to solve that, you're awake now, that was a dream. And it takes me two or three minutes sometimes to realize I'm not in the dream anymore. That's right, that's another problem too. But when you're in a dream, are you really yourself? Or are you some nondescript person? I'm saying this because in much of dream research, and one knows that the person who is the protagonist in the dream, you know, of course it's you because you're experiencing yes. it, but it's a very nondescript you, very much like the person who wakes up in the morning in an unfamiliar place. Well, I star in all For, my dreams. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so this, this is because there is a level in which we perhaps can leave aside our own very particular individual self and just be a person experiencing yeah. rather nondescript, which is, I think, a good way to see how close we are to other human beings. You know, mm. in many, we, there is a lot we share just by experiencing things as a human being. Then we can add all the autobiographical baggage that you want to make your own self story with, that you want to be yourself with your name and your achievements and your failures and so on and so forth. But I think 90% of who we are is actually the nondescript I who is having the dream and who is waking up in the morning in the hotel wondering, you know, where the hell is this? Yeah. Okay? And yeah. having those experiences. I think it's a humbling thought, but it's a good thought to have.